Welcome everyone. I've got a lovely journal to show you today. It's a botanical and entomology journal. And for this one I've used Tracy Fox from Fox Creative or Love Junk Journals as you may know her. Um, I've used her kits today and I've used more than one. I actually used up a lot of the kits that I had already in my folder. I just picked out a heap and because Tracy's kits are so interchangeable they all went so well together so I'll just give you a quick run through of ones that I have used. I probably have used more than this but this is the main ones. So I used the Layered Tags Field Notes kit. I will leave a list underneath as to which ones I've used so you can find them. The Nature Definition Labels the large entomology labels, the faux tea card set one, embellished keeping garden set two, nature's remedies which was an Artie Mays and Love Junk Journals combination kit, the notebook a botanist and the sketchbook which I dearly love and I have used a little bit of all of those and a few extras so I'll try and remember as we go along which ones they are from but this is very much a Tracy Fox kit journal so I've just used a little elastic band around this to to tie it, tie it together because it, although it doesn't really need it it's a soft covered journal it may get fatter and when Heather uses it who is the lady I've made it for it might sort of need something to hold it together so I've just put that there as a little extra I've kept it fairly simple because I know Heather likes fairly straightforward things that aren't too tizzy or girly or feminine so no frills and lace on this one it's purely botanical I've used some wax thread to stitch the seam and that's in a sort of russet brown color. The fabric I've used is, it's like a, can, a light canvas. It's an upholstery fabric and it's just printed with these beautiful flower and leaf pattern in really neutral tones. And I've just stitched around the edges to stop that from fraying because it's a heavy, heavy fray type of fabric. So um, on the front I've just used a piece of a doily and I've layered up over one of Tracy's lovely crocus pictures. I think that may have even been a freebie of Tracy's. I've just laid some fabric, some hessian, some fringing, a button, some book page, a little bit of the cheesecloth, stitched that all around together and I put a stamp on the front which was one of um, Sam's lovely stamps that I use a lot. So going inside I've lined it again with another upholstery fabric and I've just put a little upholstery fabric pocket there so you can just put some little cards or whatever you might like in there. I have added some Indian beads in the middle and I'll show you when I get to those. The wooden beads are the Indian ones. These lovely glass floral ones are from Boho Daydreams. Beautiful beads. On the first page I have included one of my lovely tags that I made, hopefully we're in frame there and you can see, that I made in the 52 Tags Handmade Challenge. And that's just got a little Tim Holtz pin on it. I stitched a button and done a little bit of fly stitching on that one and I've just clipped it with one of the, the little clips at the top so on the side here I've pinned a little dragonfly and I've just added a bit of that lovely Japanese cherry blossom washi tape I've added quite a bit of washi tape through because I know Heather likes to collect bits and pieces too and you can lift that up easily if you want to put a flower or dried piece of something in there you can use that tape then where you like 
so these are some of Tracy's lovely kits from Love Junk Journals and as you can see there's lots of moths and butterflies and lots of lovely botanicals so they relate very much to the person that I'm giving this to um, as she spent a lot of her life in the science world so she'll be able to get a lot out of that and it, and it sort of goes with her lifestyle so there is a lovely piece of Sydney lavender from my garden which I dried and put through the machine to give it a nice plastic coating and one of Tracy's lovely tags there in that sweet little envelope now the lovely thing about these kits that I found so wonderful is that not only does everything blend really well so it doesn't really matter which kit you pick up they all work so well together but Tracy has done all the work for you she has thought about what you might need the little tags at the top here and the envelopes to put things in the labels just everything works together so well she's left in this kit some lovely spots for putting photographs so I haven't gone over those in any way I've left them so that Heather can put her own photos and pictures in there and I just added some of these little corner photograph corners so that she could use them in the spaces provided in here I've got a little piece of sari silk which I've used as a belly band and I've just tucked in one of Tracy's little envelopes there and they are so cute and in each envelope I've just added a few little things that Heather might use in her um, own journaling so that they're just the, the Tim Holtz bugs that I've painted so I've, I've got a little handful of those tucked in there so every little envelope has some little extra bit in it that she can use in her own journaling this little one is an origami envelope that you can undo and put secret writing if, if you want to, if you wish and I keep adding those to the bottom of my list they are from Oak House Journals Carol will show you how to make those, they're beautiful so here's the little photo corners that I've added so that they can be used where the photos go a little tuck pocket here with another envelope and there'll be something down in there I've added um, a few little butterfly tags so that she can add those where she might wherever she would like to and this is the lovely kit the sketchbook kit which I so adore it's just delicate soft and the colors are neutral so you can put absolutely anything with it and it just has that really nice arty look about it the dragonflies absolutely love the dragonflies gorgeous it's just a beautiful kit bees wasps dragonflies butterflies you name it they're all there and it looks so nice so there's plenty of writing room in this one I've left a lot of room to write I haven't over decorated it got a lovely golden bee here which I've layered up I've got two layers for his wings so he looks a bit three-dimensional and very shiny gold another little pocket there with a tuck in it and some lovely crocheted lace and I think that one was a gift from Wendy that little pocket here I've put in what we call a pussy tail here I don't know what you call them in other places in the world but we call them pussy tails and they have that lovely little soft grass on the top and I've just put a little bit of washi tape across that another little pocket here with some beautiful crocheted lace this one has bees and butterflies on it and is from CC I'll put that below as well it's an English paper paper pad another beautiful envelope from Tracy and I've just added a cute little Tim Holtz cut out that you could put anywhere in your book around a photo would be nice so I've kept it fairly plain but as you can see from Tracy's 
work you don't need to add a lot because she's done it all for you she's got the beautiful tapes here the writing the sketches all I've done to that page is add this little stamp Tim Holt stamp at the top here everything else is there and and these are just gorgeous I mean that's a lovely spot to write in there and fold it fold it back in neatly you've got a butterfly butterflies your lovely tape the writing's already there so you really don't need to do anything if you don't want to and you want to keep your journal fairly flat you can just use these papers as they are without too much fuss this is a gorgeous one lovely little envelope again tucked into the sari silk which is an unusual sort of mushroom color so it picked up well with that envelope some Tim Holtz bugs I've stamped on this coffee dyed paper and blends so well with Tracy's bug page she's got I've got a buzzy bee here just stamped to be used wherever you like in your journal this little snippet or scrap whatever you'd like to call scrappy piece it's a piece of handmade paper that I made myself the, the mauve piece behind with a Tim Holtz flower layered up with lace little piece of sari silk there and I've stamped another of Sam Poole's beautiful number stamps which I love some coffee dyed paper a daisy from my garden which I again I put through the plastic machine sealer a little bit of crocheted lace on the bottom and I just tied some ribbon on the top of that and put it on with a little clip so you could move it if you wanted to that just a gold paper clip beautiful dragonfly paper this is a lovely long envelope and makes beautiful bookmark holders and I have got a couple of bookmarks to go in those so I'll probably pop those in later these stamps are just gorgeous and they're also in one of the kits with the butterflies and the flowers on beautiful you could do a lot with those if you wanted to just a little sticker here with some olives in the corner and some of the rose paper I just love this paper it's so gorgeous it's it's not overly feminine but the roses just give it that lovely feminine touch I think that's just beautiful and we've got soft roses in the corner here that just gently disappear into the lined paper so you could write all over that without any problem at all this one here is like um, an example of a garden a map I suppose of a garden and another one of those dear little envelopes aren't they cute I mean everything is done for you all you have to do is cut it out it's so simple it saves you all that thought and worry about what you're going to do creatively it's the ideas are already there so this is another beautiful picture of Tracy's that I've printed out just onto some tracing paper and the cut the ink of course the yellow is disappearing from my um, it needs refilling from my printer so it's given us that beautiful purple tone which I quite like I think it's really pretty and that's covered in birds that's just beautiful I've got a bookmark that I made there with a leaf which is very pretty and the bird on the back here's some of the beads in the middle of that signature so we've got the wooden beads uh, Indian beads and then we've got these gorgeous little floral glass beads from Boho Daydreams coming off the wax thread so that's the center of the signature so these are the other sides of those pages love the bird cages aren't they beautiful so I've gone with a bird theme here we've got some bird tape across there and that can easily be lifted off and used somewhere else as it's washi tape and it doesn't tend to over grip got a lovely little bird there a flower from my garden which is a rock rose and I've just put that through the plastic machine a bit of an old crochet doily it's quite a thick doily that and I have a butterfly charm on the end of that and I hope that's in film and you can see it 
lovely swallow stamp over here and that's a Tim Holtz one too beautiful skeleton leaves we've got the lovely gold and white skeleton leaves with a bit of that lovely tape which just reminds me of the field sort of tape that you put your samples down with gorgeous background paper from Tracy another one with the roses and I have used some texture paste here and one of the Tim Holtz rose stencils to give you that nice addition to the roses on there just adds a little bit of texture to it another Tim Holtz beautiful bird another one of those sort of olive leaf type flowers and some more of Tracy's lovely kit page I just love these aren't they beautiful so this is like a sketchbook um, collectors page with the date and you've got your very old fashioned worn out sort of tape marks bit of writing um, a label there to tell you what it is very sciencey I think you've even got the numbers down the side of the page there I'm sure Heather can relate to that she's done a bit of that in the time beautiful tuck spot here with um, William Morris paper it's a William Morris design there here we've got a beautiful delicate very delicate serviette and she's just beautiful and the colors went so well and I just put her in as a flip as delicate as she is you could tape her down if you wanted to but I just thought she just hid that little patch of writing there that you could do some secret writing and just cover it over with that delicate lady some more dragonflies and I've added a dragonfly cut out from Tim Holtz here I just love those they're beautiful aren't they this one's obviously one of the blue variety a damsel damselfly are they called the blue ones some tape here that's the Van Gogh collection of tapes beautiful back to our lovely sketchbook art again and I've left a lot of pages to write so there's lots of room for writing notes or adding descriptions or bits and pieces because I didn't really want to take away from this gorgeous paper it's just so nice to look at but you don't need the distraction <laughs> it's so pretty I've just got a stamp here which is just uh, some thistles and I've added a bit of thick textured lace just to give it a little bit of something to feel as you're working through because these books tend to be like all about your senses so you, you what you see what you touch what you feel beautiful smells of the coffee paper and lovely plant sticker we've got here and that gorgeous paper again with the plants isn't that lovely these kits are just fabulous I mean they all just blend in this is pretty with the pink just a little burst of color but not too much dragonflies and bees I've added a five-way pocket here and I've filled that with some cute little bits and pieces there's a little tag there you could write on one of Tracy's butterflies that you can cut out fussy cut then I've used her butterfly tea cards aren't they lovely they each have different pretty little butterflies on and you could write on the back of those or put a little note or number if you wanted to this is one of the tags from one of her kits with the beautiful sweet peas on it really pretty just so delicate Tracy has a very clever way of making things beautiful without making them over fussy so they're not really over feminine but they're just delicate this is gorgeous caterpillar and the butterfly another nice spot you could put a photograph here we've got another one of these science kind of pages with the date on the top this is a beautiful piece of linen that was sent to me from Kathleen Sunby and it has hand embroidered you can see on the back that it's all been done by hand and it just blended in so lovely with this vine on the um, the kit from Tracy and I've got a little butterfly tag inside of that 
so that went very well in there I thought over here I've got a very vintage piece of lace just on there and a little stud that's sort of pushed through there with a flower on it and a little frog I've got this dear little frog on the end of there he's so cute so he goes well with this page over here which is a paint chip and I've just cut out some little froggies which are paddling along there and put on a, a sweet little poem on the back it has her initials and some more frogs the frogs I cut out so she can do something special with that and so the little froggy went well with that I've got a bug here on the corner some kind of beetle now over this side I have I'm just being very gentle with it because it has the torn edges but this is one of my eco dyed pages which I did in the summertime and it's just a flip out so you've got beautiful leaves here from the pepper tree a daisy in the middle and just a little collection of different flowers that I've layered onto the page and I've just tipped that in with some um, it's actually the sari silk ribbon I think it's very soft silk and that just flips over so you can write on this page and you've got a bee here in the corner this one over here is Edith Holden page and it's an elderberry tree I've put some fabric on here which is Liberty of London floral print and I've just cut that with the pinking shears to give that nice edge and added a tag in there which I've decorated up some more of those lovely little corners for your photographs tucked in so she's got plenty I've just collaged this with a Tracy tag and some different papers a crocus there and it's a garment tag on the back so that just tucks in there and I just love that cornflower there and this love in the mist just beautiful they go together well pick up the blues so we've got some nice butterflies down here and plant butterfly in the corner of the tea dyed paper back to our beautiful sketches here and they're lovely. I've got a ladybug here on the corner of this one. Some moths and butterflies. A little bit of a collage here. Now these are just from an old book. They come from one of the botanical books. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But um, it's a snowdrop. And I've got a piece of washi here which is another from the William Morris collection. Some washi tape insects here there's lots of insects another of the roses and I've just complemented that with another texture piece from the texture piece and a, a Tim Holtz stencil on the corner of this one well, there we've got a big moth huge moth or butterfly I think it's a moth Heather will be able to correct me for sure on that one and the rose paper again I've got a doily um, on the edge that sticks out so that's a little bit delicate but I left it there you could probably cut it off if you wanted to but I just like the way it looked hanging over the edge and I've just tucked in there some sheets from the kit I really like this one because it folds out you could cut it into tags if you wanted to or you could make a booklet out of it because you've got one side that you can write on but you can have your secret writing on the back and then just fold it all up and tuck it into there and it's hidden and I've just got a little moth tag in there beautiful butterfly paper with the gorgeous pink roses over this side I've got another pocket which was a gift from Wendy and a little Tim Holtz die cut which I thought might go well with something else that you know gets put in later you can move these things about there's this lovely tag 
from Tracy's kit and I've added some ribbon to the top and one of those little charms pretty little charm which is kind of yin and yang and these fold out and have you know you can write in there if you like or you could cut them down and make separate tags if you wanted to but I just liked it as a fold out to write in I thought that was lovely and kind of went well with the magical sympathetical and antipathetical cure that's a mouthful Tracy <laughs> So we have uh, another wild bee on this side, I think, and back to the centre of the second signature. And we've got some wooden beads here, the wooden Indian beads on that one. So the wooden Indian beads, and they have little painted, cute little flowers and drawings on them, which are cute, very pretty to look at close up. Another of Tracy's pages which I've put onto the vellum or you could put them on tracing paper as well just to give you that nice look. We've got an ant on this side, like a little sugar ant. That reminds me of the sugar ant poem that we used to learn at school when I was a kid. <laughs> nice little insect over here, some mushrooms over here. Beautiful orangey apricotty roses on this side. The other side of that doily tuck. Another one of those beautiful nature tags. Another nice writing spot. And you've got your plants, your botanicals on the other side. Now of course you can really fancy these up as I have done before. But if I'd gone to town on these I never would have got the thing shut because I've got so many in here. But I did decorate the odd one or two rather than all of them like I normally would. Another little butterfly which just tucks into the edge, very edge of that little doily there on the corner. It's quite a thick one so it can take poking in and out okay. One of those lovely bookmark holders really lovely and they all come in the kit you just have to cut them out they're all shaped ready to go lovely dragonflies this beautiful library card and that was in the sketches kit with the lovely bee on it and I've just decorated it up with a bit of tatting on the corner put a little tag in behind it and I've kept all the tags pretty much as they are I haven't over decorated them because they don't need it they've got all the stuff on there that you need and to keep your book nice and flat I've just left them as they are. Got a little envelope in here which is from the one of the kits and you can have little extra things tucked in there and I've just pinned that onto the library card. St uh, flower stamp, wildflower stamp over here. I think that's a woodware stamp. Just a bit of washi tape in the corner, some more sari silk for a band and one of those lovely envelopes from the kit which is like a seed packet. She's got the old tape already on there so you really don't need to add anything. I mean what would you need to add? <laughs> it's all done for you. Inside there I've filled it with some Tracy labels. I can't get them out but there's lots of Tracy labels in there so that they can be used throughout the book wherever things get put. More insect pages. I've got a little like a lolly bag here and just a little collection of cute things. That sweet little tag. These little tabs come in the kit so you just have to add them to the top. Beautiful dragonfly. I've added a couple of little bits in there. French card and a playing card just to add a little bit of charm to the cute little bag little label on the front and just some washi tape with some berries on there so that's cute over here we've got a secret flip so you can write underneath there and it sits down so no one can see a beautiful butterfly tag from the sketches kit and I've just backed those with some tea dyed or coffee dyed paper so that you can write on them it just makes them stiff enough to write on without 
making them too fat. You could sew around them, but the more you do that um, layering, the thicker it's going to take up space. So great if you've only got a few pages, but if you've got a thick book, it's going to get pretty fat. <laughs> Beautiful bees, some wild bees. Lovely sketch there of a plant. On this corner I've got a little flying bee here and I've made just a little belly band out of ruffled tape there. I've kept it fairly simple. I haven't done anything too tizzy or fancy. I've just let the story tell itself because it's so pretty as it is. Lovely sprigs of lavender. Some more beautiful bugs. Snail. This one here is an envelope flip so it just flips out from the Edith Holden page. I've used a book Crime and Punishment, very old book here, and I've put a little tuck spot in there, which has one of the little tags from the kit in, which I thought was lovely, a library tag, as Heather is a librarian, she'll be able to relate to that in the science library. Lovely piece of tatting, pressed geranium leaf, and from the kit a little circle and just a book page pocket that I've made and I've also got a little secret page in there that you can just open up and put some secret writing on and tuck it back down no one even knows it's there it's got a little goldfish on it so that just tucks all hidden away in that little envelope and folds back in I've got a piece of lace there one of the tags of course a little piece of bias binding over this side, I have in the back, or I'll, I'll start from the front, we've got a little bug, Tracy label, tag, you can write on the back of. I've got a little stamp of a ladybug on the back. These are from the kit, all from the kit. Some lace, the ladybug again, and inside behind the window, I've just put this little pretty tag here. This one, very cheerful and probably won't be able to get all that back in from this angle oh, miracles never cease there you go so tuck that in there and that dear little beetle that flips over you've got the berries elderberries on the back from edith holden this here was some packaging that came from kathleen and i just loved it so i cut it out and kept it and i've made it into a little tuck spot there so I've put Tracy's beautiful tag. Now this is what I say when you can go way out with the decorating if you want to. <laughs> this is a layered tag and all in the kit. They all go together so well. So I have made, I've put two tags together and the little flip which I've glued on the front. So you could write underneath or behind and flip your little um, tag down over the top. I've got a daisy in there from the garden which is pressed and behind acetate so that's in between the little um, what do you call these film thingies um, gosh I can't think of the name of them now but you can see what they are anyway a little tab there to lift it up with so that you can write behind if you like and because I've layered it up I haven't backed these I tinted I just tinted the back, I printed on the back so that it was not white, so that you could write on it. Got just a little bead on a pin there, some sari silk, and just some baker's twine to make a little bow. So that's tucked in there, so you can decorate them up if you like, and have more fancy ones. This is a dear little pocket, I love this. We've got, the base is the wombat poo paper, which is fairly thick. And I've just put some cheesecloth over that. A dear little flower and a Tracy label. And her specimen tag um, envelope. And inside that I've got Tiffany and Co. And that's one of those dear little origami ones from Carol at Oak House Journals. If you want to learn how to make those. Very clever. On this side I have the um, 
uh, what would you call this? It is well, it's really just sheeting, like sheeting, and torn up, tea dyed, and stamped. And that little one was a gift from my friend Leanne, who made a whole heap of those, and they're beautiful. Down here, I have some beautiful broderie and glace, or um, eyelet, some people call it. And that was a gift from Kathleen in her lovely bundle that she gave me. I hope you can see there. I might just move it over. Okay, so there we go. It's got a little fox on the bottom because you probably know by now I always stick a fox in somewhere. And it's a Tracy Fox type journal, so the foxes go well. Little bead there. Now these are a button. These are Hanover buttons. And I've had them for a very long time. Really love that collection. They're beautiful. So it's fabric coated with a little flower on it. This is the last page and it has a big bug on it. One of the Tim Holtz cutouts. And some Van Gogh tape. Which is pretty obvious you can see that <laughs> from there. So you can actually lift this tape up. It's very... I haven't glued it down. Um, I've deliberately left it as it is so that you can move it if you want to um, because we all know by now washi tape doesn't have a lot of grip so you can pick it up and move it where you want to. If you don't want it to move you have to glue it down. So this is a lovely linen piece again from Kathleen's pile that she sent me. Beautiful linen hand stitched along here with some very soft silky wool. Beautiful. A Tim Holtz pin here. We all love the Tim Holtz pins. And just made that into a little pocket to put a little flip that I made, which also has a fox inside from a fairy tale, which I thought was cute. And these just house your little um, lovely little tags, and you can write on the back of those. And what have I got in here? I think there's a little. Um, yeah, a little Tim Holtz number in there. These gorgeous crows. I love crows. This side we've got the Kingfisher, which we call the Kookaburra over here. And our Kookaburras aren't quite so colourful. Another one of those lovely little fold-out pieces that you can write some lovely writing on. You can write here or you can write on the back fold it up and tuck it in and you've got extra writing space and one of those beautiful moth tags so you can pop those in there it's just extra writing space so no doubt I'll be poking in a few more little bits and pieces of writing space type things before I send it off but basically that is the journal so thank you very much for joining me today I hope you enjoyed that journal and I'll list below all the lovely kits that I have used from Love Junk Journals and a link so that you can find them and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.